Well, today we've joined with the real experts in children's health here at the Sydney Children's Hospital. Our members, nurses, are joined by physiotherapists, occupational therapists, social workers, a whole range of health professionals here, um, some of whom are experienced in dealing directly with refugee children. They've seen it firsthand. Uh, they're coming out sending a very strong message. Detention harms children, get them out. And we know detention harms children in very many different ways. Um, it impacts their growth and development. It impacts their emotional health. It impacts their mental health. And what we've seen here is children who have been damaged by being in detention for more than 417 days on average. Detention is no place for children and for families. No parents, no matter how good they are, can protect their children in that environment. We've seen children, teenagers and young adults experience hopelessness and despair. And this is an absolutely appalling way to treat our young people. Healthcare is a continuum and we need to look after children even after they leave our hospital premises. As medical students, we came into this profession to help those in need and to be part of an Australia that treats every human being with respect and compassion. While I stand here with a home, an education, a chance at a future, families, children, young people just like me are wasting away behind bars, stripped of their basic human rights to healthcare, to dignity, subject to the abhorrent conditions, abuse, rape, physical and mental trauma, and isolation of life behind bars. Is this this fair? Refugees, ladies and gentlemen, they are our patients. They are our responsibility. And as doctors, as health professionals, as physicians, we're duty bound to speak on behalf of our patients and on behalf of their human rights. And I think, frankly, it's a national shame. We can't stand by as health professionals, as groups of health professionals, and not let the message get out to the Australian community that it's time to get those kids out of refugee camps it's time to uh, stop detention. And I want to see the torment ended now and the release of asylum seekers and very importantly, all of the children now. Not next year, not in 2020, now.